Best Tech started doing some bed bugs abatements about six, seven years ago. We found at that time that some areas were extremely infested and they were focused to infest the rest of the building. We start using vacuum cleaners uh, to remove the bed bugs. This was a very dangerous situation because as you can see, there is a blood uh, stains in the blankets and uh, we were very concerned about our technicians' uh, contamination. Bed bugs in this apartment were all over the place and we had to tear every layer to this apartment in order to be able to resolve the problem. Over here, our technicians are vacuuming all the crack and crevices around the hallways in this apartment building because uh, the bed bugs was so bad in this apartment that they would start coming out from there and infesting the rest of the building. Here is uh, a video of uh, a bed where the, this person was sleeping and how the infestation it is. Uh, it's this uh, in incredible uh, big infestation. And over here uh, in this corner, we see a mass of bed bugs with a fecal matter. Uh, we believe at that point that there were some uh, pheromones uh, related with the uh, bed bugs and that's what it keep them uh, in this uh, conglomerate uh, clusters. Uh, similar things happen with the German cockroaches. Now we see over here the mass of eggs, exoskeletons, bed bugs and nymphs uh, or in clusters. At that point, uh, we use uh, extensively the vacuum and we use uh, uh, a water detergent mix called Oya, uh, which is uh, it killed bed bugs by contact. Over here, we're uh, trying to illustrate uh, the amount of bed bugs that also are in the walls behind frames and why not uh, some other areas. We notice also that there is a Velcro. Uh, in some uh, backpacks that seems to work as a traps for bed bugs. Perhaps uh, we thought at that time that Velcro can be used later on uh, to develop uh, a trap for bed bugs. But we find out that sticky traps are, are uh, working very good. Here's another cluster with the fecal matters and, and bed bugs very close to the typewriter. And here's the same corner of the bed that we show you. Uh, in the in the uh, uh, before, uh, pest tech technicians over here start uh, removing uh, uh, all the uh, bed bugs uh, in this mattress, and uh, we are actually dismantling the mattress. This boss spring going to be totally disassembled and uh, and throw it away after we vacuum all these uh, uh, bed bugs. So what we find out is that there was not any way to treat this mattress and to save it. So we decided that it was cheaper to go ahead and, and destroy it and take it away than, than go ahead and try to spray it, treat it, or, or we steam clean it, uh, the, the box spring. But again, everything had to be clean before we can throw away anything. We don't want uh, anybody to pick up uh, anything come out from this apartment and then use it in their own apartment and reinfest the buildings. Here's some more clusters of bed bugs. When, by the time we finished in this apartment, the whole apartment was totally dismantled. Carpets, mirrors, nightstands, frames. There was nothing left in the apartment uh, because everything was contaminated with bed bugs inside the walls, under the carpet. The uh, uh, light switches, light panels, so what we did then is uh, to apply some dichromatio shirt inside the walls and uh, to do some caulking and sealing. Over here we have our BNG handheld sprayer that we used to uh, spray it, uh, with uh, detergent to kill the, all the bed bugs by contact that you see before. Uh, here's some more samples of uh, fecal matters in the nightstands and crack and crevices and nuts and, and uh, a small little spaces of wood between the joint uh, parts of wood. There's no way that you can treat uh, in any way these things. Even after we decide that uh, we already kill everything and there was nothing left right there, 